to another episode of Grow TV. Just last week, I was sitting at home and my mama asked me a very important question. She said, Carl, do you know what holiday's coming up next? And I'm not gonna lie. My brain was like a soda can on the bedside table. Empty. I guess Christmas. Man, well, I was wrong. I guess the 4th of July. Man, I was wrong. I guessed if it was National Pizza Shoe Day. It's a holiday where like, when you can't find your shoes, you just use leftover pizza slices as shoes. Actually celebrated that eight times last year. But my mama told me it wasn't that either. So I finally said, Mama, what holiday is it? And she said, Easter. <laughs> right? I bet y'all didn't know that. Anywho, it made me realize something. There's a lot of things out there that I don't know, and I bet that's the same for you. So I came up with an awesome idea. Ready to hear it? What if we started a game show? Hear me out. A game show that's all about things. All about Easter. All about Jesus. I ask questions, and we try to guess the answers. What do you say? Good, you're on board. Because if you weren't, guess what? I already did it. Hit the music. Welcome, ladies and germs, to the newest and greatest game show to ever exist. What's the game show, you might ask? Well, it's called Did You Know? The rules are simple. Each round will have three trivia questions, which will start with us asking a simple question, Did You Know? You have two answers to choose from, and if you choose the correct one, you'll get 100 points. And the contestant at the end with the most points will win the ultimate awesome showcase. Tell them what they will win, Katie. Thanks, Carl. The winner of the Did You Know Game Show will win the 100-foot-tall chocolate Easter bunny. Wow, I mean, that's like breakfast for me, but whatever. Let's get started. Who's ready to meet our contestants? First, we have... Sam! Sam, welcome to the show. Hey, Carl. You told me we were just going to hang out to... <laughs> Splendid. So happy to have you on the show. Contestant number two is possibly my best friend. Please welcome... Jada! Oh, Carl tricked you into being on this game show, too? Yup. All right, let's go with question number one. Are you ready, kids? Say it with me. Did you know? Did you know that Winter Haven, Florida hosted the world's largest Easter egg hunt? How many eggs were hidden that day for the children to find? A, 57, or B, 500,000? Whoa, 500,000 eggs? That's a lot of eggs. Sure is, but even 57 is quite a bit. What do you all think it is? A or B? Hmm. What do you think, Sam? I'm gonna go with B, 500,000. There's no way 57 is the world record. And you, Jada? Well, I'm choosing A, 57. 500,000 is just too many. All right, which of our contestants is correct? Sam got the correct answer for 100 points. The largest Easter egg hunt had over 500,000 eggs hidden, and over 9,000 children were involved in high finding them, high finding the eggs. Great job, but I cannot believe I wasn't invited to the egg hunt, though. I'm going to have to give the mayor a call about this situation. <laughs> Moving on. Let's check out trivia question number two. Everyone say it. Did you know? Did you know that the world's largest chocolate bunny was created in the country Brazil? The question is, how tall is that world record chocolate bunny? Oh, 14 feet. He didn't even give us the answer choices yet. Yeah, I know, but I saw this on the news one time. I'm sure it's the right answer. Can we get the answer choices? I'm sorry, once a contestant blurts out the answer, all question answers are then henceforth not held to, yeah, I, you can't do that. You can't just blurt out the answer. It's against the rules. I just made up the rules just now. You can't do it. You never told us that. Well, I just did. So what's your answer, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Maybe nine feet? The correct answer is 14 feet. Jada gets 100 points. Built in Brazil by nine chocolatiers, the bunny was six feet wide. Took eight days to construct, and it weighed over 9,000 pounds. Wow, that does sound delicious. Let's move on to question number three to see who wins round one. Oh man, this is a tricky one. One more time, everyone. Did you know? 
Did you know that in the book of John in chapter 16, Jesus was anointed by Mary before heading into Jerusalem? Which liquid was used by Mary to anoint Jesus? A, oil, B, perfume, or C, apple juice? Hmm, I think it was perfume. I choose B. Mm, yeah, I think it's B too. Uh, what makes you think it's perfume? I don't know, just a guess. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, you both are correct, wow. Perfume, Mary poured a pint of perfume on Jesus' feet to anoint Jesus. You each get 100 points. Wait, hold up. Why would Mary do that? Uh, <laughs> don't look at me, ask Carl. Hi, I'm just the game show question asker guy. If you want any help, just hit the help button in the corner. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, a long time ago, Jesus was in the town of Bethany where his friend Lazarus lived. And they had put together a dinner just for Jesus and Mary, sister of Martha, did something extraordinary during this time. She took a very expensive bottle of perfume and poured it on Jesus' feet. Now back in these times, people would use spices, oils, perfumes, and other materials to show importance and to anoint other people. And the perfume that Mary had used was pretty much her whole life savings. Mary was honoring Jesus with everything that she had because she knew that Jesus was worth it. Whoa, that's awesome. Good for Mary. I bet that made everyone happy. Well, not exactly. What do you mean? Well, what I'm reading here is that one of the disciples actually got angry. Who? Peter? Matthew? No, I bet it was Judas. Yep, it was Judas. He was upset because he said that the perfume could have been sold and the money could have been given to the poor. Oh, I remember this now. The real reason that he was upset was because he was in charge of holding the bag that held all the money that Jesus and his disciples collected. Turns out, he was stealing from it. So, he didn't really care about giving money to the poor from the perfume sale? He wanted the money for himself? Oh, that's too bad. So what Mary did was good, right? Very much so. She didn't have much, but what she did have, she wanted to give it to Jesus. Huh. But I guess the big question is, why? That's a good question, Carl. Now, let me ask you this. Do you spend a lot of time with your friends? Sure. And if they needed help or money, would you help them? Absolutely. If they were feeling down, would you encourage them? No doubt. And if you knew they were going away and you wouldn't get to see them all the time anymore, wouldn't you give what you could and spend time with them? Uh, yeah, no question. And why would you do that? Because I love my friends. Exactly. You see, Mary loved Jesus, and she knew she wasn't going to have much more time with him, and so she wanted to offer all she could to him. That's right. She understood that pouring her perfume at his feet was one way of showing her love for Jesus. And by giving away her most precious possession, she was showing that she loved Jesus more than anyone in the world. <laughs> wow. Well, kids, I learned a lot today, including our big idea, which is, did you know we can love Jesus more than anything? So on the count of three, let's all say it together. Ready? One, two, three. Did you know we can love Jesus more than anything? Perfect. Wonderful job, everyone. And I hope I can see you next time for round two of the Did You Know Game Show. Bye.